Okay, student. Today we are learn, going to learn about triangular prism. Do you know about the triangular prism? Yes. Any idea about triangular prism? Yes. Okay, so who can give the example of the triangular prism? Yes, stand up, boy. Roof of house. Yes, roof of house is in this shape. Okay, so this is the triangular prism. Okay, so I think you observe a piece of paper in my hand. Okay, I am going to show the example shape of the triangular prism. Look at here. If you arrange this paper in this shape, this is called triangular prism. Is it clear, student? Yes, yes sir. In triangular prism, there is presence of two equal or identical triangles in both sides and three rectangular face. Look at here, this face is in the shape of rectangle. Also, this face is also in the shape of rectangle and this shape is also in the shape of rectangle. rectangle. So, combination of three rectangles and two identical triangles is called triangular prism. Is it clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. So today we are going to learn about triangular prism. Okay, student? Yes, yes sir. Triangular prism. Okay, I am going to draw the figure of triangular prism also. This shape is called triangular prism. Yes. Okay? Look at here. In this triangle, you can consider this side as A, this side as B, and this side as C. C. So, a perimeter of the triangle becomes? A plus B plus C. So, basic, thing, basic things about triangle, look at here. Perimeter P equal to A plus B plus C. Then after, area. Area A equal to, we have 1 by 2 base multiplied by height. If that triangle is, triangle is right angle triangle, if that triangle is scalene triangle, then A equal to root under Yes, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. If the, that triangle is equilateral triangle, in that condition, here is another formula, A equal to root under A. We have to remember all these three formula of triangle because in triangular prism, in some question, this triangle may be in scalene shape, okay? May be in right angle triangle, may be scalene triangle. So, you have to remember all these basic things about triangle, which you read in class 9 and 8 also. This is the revision, in fact. Now, let's learn about the total surface area, lateral surface area, and volume of the triangular prism. So total surface area, total surface area, lateral surface area, and volume of the triangular prism. Okay? okay? So what is lateral surface area? You have to understand this. In this triangular prism, if you find the sum of all these three rectangular faces, this rectangle, this rectangle and this rectangle, sum of the area of these three rectangular face is called lateral surface area. Is it clear? Yes. So formula of the lateral surface area equal to perimeter of the triangular base means this is the perimeter. Look at here. A, B, C. Sum of the A, B, C is called perimeter. Perimeter of the triangular base multiplied by height of the triangular prism. Either this triangular prism kept vertically or horizontally, this, this line is 
called high. Is it clear, student? Yes, sir. So perimeter multiplied by height is the perimeter multiplied by height is the formula of lateral surface area. Any problem, student? No, sir. So if you want to find the lateral surface area of the triangular prism, it is compulsory to find the perimeter of the triangular base at first. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Secondly, if you want to find the total surface area of the triangular prism, you have to add these two triangles area, area of the triangles in the lateral surface area. Is it clear? Total surface area means all the area of the triangular prism, this lateral surface area plus this area of the triangle plus this area of the triangle. So formula of total surface area is perimeter multiplied by height means lateral surface area plus two area of triangle. Area of triangles. Is it clear, student? And in volume, Area of the volume of the triangular prism is very much simple. Base area into height. Base area into height. height. Since base area of the triangular prism is in the shape of triangle, area of the triangle multiplied by height is the volume of the triangular prism. Is it clear, student? Yes. So, volume of the triangular prism is equal to area of Triangular base multiplied by height. height. Area of the triangular base multiplied by height is the volume of the triangular prism. Any confusion, students? Yes, sir. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Thank you.